going over this, some of the numbers I have on here might jump out at you a little bit, um, but there's some good uh, reasoning behind them. Um, the first thing to look at is under the administration line item, it shows a 50% increase in our uniforms, which brings it from 500 to 750. It's not, you know, super huge money, but in the past, we've only had a couple of staff members with uniforms. Um, now that we do multiple trips, we have multiple drivers. Uh, we also have our park staff that need rain coats, rain pants. Um, we have sweatshirts and then staff shirts, just in general polos. And we have some turnover that we also need to make adjustments for with uniforms. So I up that to make sure that our whole department is fully visible and looking like they should. Um, so that's $250 there. So 50% is actually not, it looks bigger than it is. Um, honestly, the biggest item I have is under maintenance of parks, grounds and fields has a huge increase. Yeah. Um, and that is, I would like to say it's a wish list of all these new things I'd like to do, but it's actually trying to take care of existing issues that I feel are safety related. Um, I recently walked the park with the public works director to look at all the trees on the perimeter of Tuckfield and some of our playground parks. And what we found out is there's dead trees, there's limbs, there's pruning, there's issues with lots of trees there. He has no tree budget or it's zeroed out at the moment. We had one limb that we did an emergency removal of because it was very serious and it yeah. was right over a playground. Um, and this number, the 15,000 I have in there, is a number that I talked to Christy about and I said, should it be under public works, under the tree warden, or right. should it be somewhere? I don't even know if that number is gonna be sufficient for the work that needs to be done, but I know I, I have work that needs to be done, whether you move it to public works under the tree warden budget or keep it under mine, it makes my line item go way up, yeah. but that's what it is. It's not something that I'm trying to add because it's gonna be super fun and stuff. It's to keep the kids safe. Um, there's lots of limbs that overhang our, our sports fields, mm -hmm. and that's a big concern for me. So. I put that number in there. Um, we are waiting for some estimates to come back from tree, tree companies um, regarding the whole perimeter of our fields. Um, so I put that in there, yeah. depending on how that wants to go. Um, the other big things in that line item that I feel needed to be addressed, I added in tennis court maintenance. Uh, what happens, we have these great tennis courts that everybody loves, but once they get a crack in them every year, they expand, yeah. they need to be sealed. It expands, it needs to be sealed. Mm -hmm. We have nothing in the budget right now to, to cover that. Um, and we also did that with the Tuckfield baseball backstops. They're all old fencing that's curling in and all the sharp edges are right about where a kid can go up and catch the ball. And it's a safety issue that I th think we need to address. And then the other ones that show up on there is parking lot lights are parking situation down at Eaton Park and Tuckfield, depending on where you're looking, there are no lights. It is really dark at night, mm -hmm. and we have you know, certain Monday mornings in the summer, we're always picking up in certain parts of the parking lot, and it's dark, nobody can see you, kids go down there and hide in their cars, and we're trying to alleviate that by opening it up and having some safety so mm -hmm. people can Good. see especially at Eaton Park with the playground being close by. So if we can add some lights down to those two facilities, I think that would help open up and stop some of the issues we've had with vandalism and stuff like that. Definitely. And then as far as uh, the maintenance of facilities goes, I added, it's been at $2,000, I added you know maintenance to the sheds. We have no line item anywhere for shed repairs. Uh, I think the shed that's down there is probably 15 years old. It needs new side, not siding, but trim pieces uh, around the doors. Just basic stuff. It started to rot. It hasn't been painted. Um, and then the roof is got all that mossy stuff on it. And because that's because some of the trees are overgrown over it and it stays wet all the time. So if we can take care of the trees, it may keep that a little longer too. And then the cave building, uh, I asked for doors. That was built in 2002. Those doors are all but shot on the bottom of them. The bottom foot of them is pretty much rotted. Um, if they wanted to probably get in, they could. So I want to address that safety issue also. So I think that's about it as far as changes goes. Any questions?
Mary Louise? Yeah, Renee, the, yep. um, in your, let's see, grounds and fields, mm -hmm. so the 47,000 would help you on what you've just described? Is that, is that where the money would come out of? The new, the new items I added. Um, where, where are they showing on here? On the bottom of grounds and fields, the, the only adjustments I made was at the bottom uh, where it says tennis courts, parking, the bottom five Oh, I'm items. reading on the top sheet here. Okay. In the middle, it's got grounds and fields. And then the bottom five items are the new ones that I've adjusted or added in. Baseball park maintenance. Okay, yep, the ones parking lot that. lights. So yep. you've got that all under the grounds and field line. Right. Now, are the trees on that too? Let me I see. added the, the trees are on the very bottom of that item, that line. And like I said, that's something I put in there to put in there. Um, it needs to there be somewhere. Is. Okay. It's just a matter of if you want it to be in my budget or the tree Did you wardens. happen to check with Public Works on the tree removals? We walked the park with Chris, and oh. I did talk with him, and he, he has a zero, his tree budget is shot at the moment, so yeah, I know that. we walked the park with the tree companies yeah. to show them everything that needed to be yeah. adjusted, cut down or adjusted or trimmed, or, and they're uh, getting us their estimates on those. Okay, and that's incorporated in the 47 and change? Yes. Okay, okay, good. You're doing uh, you're good, doing a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're working hard. Thank you. Rick, do you have anything? No, you. Um, it sounds like you're doing a great job down there, and you have uh, pick. I've picked up uh, that you've got a few interesting ideas, like the roof, like you just mentioned. Mm. And that type of stuff is common sense and should be taken care of yeah. in the way that you mentioned. So I appreciate your budget. Looks great. Thank, Thank you. you. I think the, the staff shirts are good. It makes you guys look professional. It's difficult for some of you, but it makes it look it. Thank you, Jim. Uh, I, I also, how many people use Tuck Field and Eaton Park there? Well, the season, right now, the season for soccer and football is ending um, in our flag football program. The Hampton Youth Association has upwards of 400 kids. Uh, in their soccer program that is on Tuck Field Saturday from 8 a.m. to about 3 o'clock. Uh, Little Warrior Football, I think their number is around 1 to 150, I believe. I think they've had some um, declining numbers, but they still have, they practice four days a week down there. Um, and then we have our flag football program, which has 220 kids from uh, ages third grade through 12th grade. Wow. So they're on there Saturdays. They're down at Lou Brown at the same time. Um, and then they do play some Sunday afternoons, which I don't want Sunday mornings, but we do have to do some things on Sunday afternoons. So. And Hampton Academy? Hampton Academy soccer also uses our soccer field because they don't have enough space over at their facility. And spring for and summer you have the baseball? We have, um, we have sometimes have Sacred Heart Baseball. We have Hampton Academy Baseball. And... I think that's it for baseball, besides our Hampton Youth Association, which uses all the baseball fields just about from April to July. So, so I mean, you would say it's a well-used facility. It's overused with <laughs> need for more space. Yeah, and, and it's a safety issue with the trees. Most definitely. Oh, yep. yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. No question about that. Yeah, I'm good with the budget, and I just want to also note and just – be positive with the finance director that the first two line items, regular wages and part-time wages, are increased by the admin to adjust for the MRI study we had done, correct? Yes. Do we yes. have the new total? No, no it's already in there. It's already in there? Yep. Good. Okay. Okay. That's what I thought it said. And, yeah, I'm good with everything you've brought forward. I think yes. it needs to be done. Great job. Thank nice you. Nice budget. Yeah. Thank you.